working on the, the, the philosophy. And if you're gonna serve the Most High, or you're gonna serve these other gods, right? So now we're in a place called America. Now, read that one more time. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Read it again and read it slow. And their dead bodies shall dead, lie in the street of the great city. And their dead bodies shall lie in the, in the uh, streets of the great city. What's that great city? That great city is America. Alright, what are the dead bodies? The dead bodies are you Israelites. Right? It tells you that in the book of Baruch. That you are counted with, as you are counted as with those that go down to the dead. You see the dead Israelites. Alright, you Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Alright, that land is the great city called what? Spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. It says spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Why is it called Egypt? They follow the customs of Egypt. All right? Egypt was a place of bondage. Why is it called Sodom? Because they do sodomy in this land. Now, if you look around closely, I don't know if you brothers can see it on the camera, but you'll see people with shirts on out here that has that little stupid ass rainbow flag but has the, the shirt with the heart with all the rainbow colors that says Orlando United that's the thing about it is they're united with sodomy the word sodom is unprohibited sexual acts that's where you get sodomy from that's what sodomy means. Sodomy comes from the city of Sodom. What were they doing in Sodom? They were doing homosexual acts. So now in Orlando, they say we're united. In Orlando, we're united with homosexuals. <laughs> so it's a stand against the Most High. That's why the Most High says, the city spiritually called Sodom. This is what's promoted now. It's promoted to be homosexual now. That's, what, that's what's promoted in these times. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 10 through 15. So we know that this place, America, is the great city where the Israelites are going to be. Paint it right there. Right? Paint it right there. Where the Israelites are going to be, that is spiritually called Sodom. Why is it spiritually called Sodom? Because the promotion of homosexuality in this country. And through, from this country, it's promoted throughout the whole world. Whether the governments of other nations accept it or not. Go ahead. Just hold hands. Isaiah 1 and 10. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Because this land right here is the daughter of Sodom. This is where you have sodomy acts being promoted. A right to the I masses. We don't do. care Let about that. Read. You don't know nothing. Because you would know that that's not a natural act. Go ahead. You, you would know that that's promoted by the, by the elites mouth. of the society. Go ahead. Give ear unto the law of our power. Of give, our God. So give ear to the law of our power. I'm so sorry. That will never be promoted in the kingdom of the Most High. And you will never shut this word up. It don't matter what you say. Go ahead. Ye people of Gomorrah. Ye people of Gomorrah. The most I don't care about what you got to say. Know how smart you think you are. Romans chapter 1 told you that. We get Romans chapter 1. For the ones that think they so smart. Romans chapter 1. Thinking themselves to be wise. Go ahead. Start about like 5, about five or 10. Whatever it say. Right there. Why well, just stop holding hands? Because they're ashamed of that shit. Right. And change the glory of the incorruptible God 
into an image made like the corruptible man and the word of the four footed beast and creeping things. Because in this land, men worship themselves. Armor of God. Go ahead. Right Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Go ahead. Keep Who changed the truth of, of the Most High into a lie? Now they're telling you in the churches that it's okay to be homosexual in the Bible. It's not okay. Go ahead. And worship and serve the creature or the Creator. Go ahead. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Go ahead. For this cause, the Most High will take them up unto vile affection. Unto what? Vile affection. Unto vile affection. Go ahead. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now the women doing it too. Go ahead. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their own lust one toward another. Men burning their own lust one towards another. This is why this land is called Sodom and Egypt. Spiritually Sodom. Go ahead. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves oh, that recompense oh, of their error, seriously. which is me. Read that again. Men, men with men working that which is unseemly. That which is unseemly. Go ahead. Unseemly. And receiving in themselves I'm showing that recompense love. of their You're error, showing hate. which is me. Go hate. Read that again. Men with men working that oh which is unseemly. God. Right. And yes. receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, that recompense of their error, which was meek and in good. Hey. So why did that happen down there? That was the most size recompense. That's why it happened at Club Post. Why is the most high gonna destroy this kingdom? As he did Sodom. Because of these say these wicked acts right here. That's why. The most high is not standing with that. The most high is not with homosexuality. Now, if you want to be with it, that's, okay, that's good for you. But do not put that on the Most High's Bible. Go ahead. And likewise, also, the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseen. So they don't want the woman? Nah. And we're going to bring it out. Why? They so damn stupid. They don't know why. They're promoting this homosexuality. But they don't want the women no more. They want men, they want to touch each other. Go ahead. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. Re receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which is me. Why you think why you think it, they have a higher rate of HIV AIDS? You're not supposed to be going in a rectum. There's more broken blood vessels. Easier to contract different things like that. Why you think that club got shot up? It's a reason behind that. Why you think the most high allowed that shit? Because that shit is, that's a wicked ass club. The most high is about to bring this kingdom down because of these wicked ass acts that y'all have promoted and pushed out throughout the whole goddamn world. And that's one of the acts. And we're not gonna stand by because you feel some type of way and, 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 and spare your goddamn feelings. Go ahead. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge. They don't care about the Most High talking about some love. That is not love. That's not, well, what about the little, the men that like little boys? Are we supposed to let them deal with little kids because they love the little kids? That's not an excuse because you, 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 I love somebody. Well, a 30 year old man like your, like your seven year old daughter or your seven year old boy. Are you gonna let them be because he loved him? No. No. As a matter of fact, love does not matter. What matters is the, the regeneration of the um, human race. Children, the most I said be fruitful and multiply. He didn't say love each other. He didn't say be fruitful and love. He said be fruitful and multiply, meaning regenerate yourself. That is the main purpose of relationships of a man and a woman. Go ahead. The Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind. So what? Reprobate mind. So he can never be smarter than us. 
is very, the very act of him holding another, another man's hand tells me that something is very wrong with him. That he's a reprobate, lacking judgment. Go ahead. To do those things which are not convenient. Go ahead. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of the most high. Haters of who? The most high. Haters of the most high. Go ahead. Despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. Inventors of evil things, because that's wicked. First of all, you're not reproducing, man. Now, if everybody turned homosexuals, then what would happen? The life would not go on. You got something to say? Yo, um, is that it? All right, go back. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 10. Yeah. Isaiah 1 and 10. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Yep. Give ear to the law of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. Yeah, hear the words of the Most High, ye rulers of Sodom. You rulers of this homosexual-ass kingdom, man. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice unto me, said the Lord? What right? you doing going to church? What you doing saying pray for Orlando? Don't pray for Orlando. For what? Which, uh, let, me, uh, let me rephrase that. Which God are you going to pray to? Because he's talking about this God of the Bible. He don't want to hear that shit. Because then I told you that shit is an abomination. So why would you then... Go pray to him for people that's committing an abomination. That's wicked as hell, man. Go ahead. I am full of the burnt offerings of bread and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the bread of bullets. Because in the ancient days, Israel was doing shit like that. Doing wicked ass things and then praying to the Most High. Fuck bitches, get money. Now they're doing the same thing today. They're going to be up in the church and tell out, you got to love, brother. You got to love, you know, the homosexuals. You got to love them and we got to stand with them. No. No, the most side is not stand with them. Neither does he want to hear your prayers about pray for Orlando. Go ahead. Or a blood, and I delight not in the blood of bullets, or of lambs, or of he goats, when you come to appear before me, who have acquired this at your hand to treat my courts, bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. Right, and then it tells you in the New Testament, render the calves of your lips. Meaning when you pray, that's like the sacrifices right here. So when y'all talking about pray for Orlando, y'all out here having vigils, praying for these homosexuals, the most I don't want to hear that shit, man. That's wicked, man. Go ahead. The new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. He ain't listening to you on Sunday. We in church. Tell my old oh Lord, please pray for the victims. We plan for the victims of post. Please bring them. He don't want to. He ain't listening to that shit, man. Cause he the one that sent that motherfucker in there in the first place. Every spirit's created for vengeance, man. Go ahead. It is iniquity. Even the solemn meeting, your new moods and your appointed feast, my soul hated. Your soul what? My soul hated. The most high hate that, man. Them little praying for them on Sunday. No. Go ahead. They are a trouble unto me. Go ahead. I am wor weary to bear them. Right. And when you spread forth your hands. Read that. When you spread forth what? And when you spread forth your hands. Right. I will hide mine eyes from you. The Most High is not listening to that Pray for Orlando, hashtag Pray for Orlando. You in church praying for the people that was in there, the homosexuals that was in there. The Most High, he, he don't want to hear that. He turned his back on you. I want to hear that shit, man. When I told you not to be doing that shit, and you're promoting this shit in my name, you're promoting it in the Most High name, you think he listening? Go ahead. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Exactly. Your hands are full of blood. 
Go ahead. Wash you. Make you clean. Nah, that's it. That's, that's it. Isaiah 3 and 8 to 13. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 8. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen. Right. Judah and Jerusalem are the Israelites, a people before a place. Go ahead. Because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord. Right. Because what? Their tongue and their doings are against the Lord. Now, you got these in church, especially you Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics, especially you Negroes, Judah, you're in church on Sundays praying for victims of uh, club hosts. Which most of them were homosexuals. Not all of them, but most of them. Now you in there praying for them. That's wicked, man. That's wicked. Because it's against the law. We will get to that later. Read that again, that part. Because their tongue and their doings are against the law. That's against the most high. You got pastors there telling you, oh brother, you know, the most high love. He loved everybody, even the homosexuals. We gotta pray for them. And, oh, God bless Orlando. And God bless Cub Post. And God bless them. No, the Most High, no. No. That's against the Most High. Go ahead. To provoke the eyes of His glory. Right, go ahead. To show their countenance as a witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom. They declare their sin as Sodom. They eyes. They, they eyes witness against themselves. Go ahead. They hide it not. What was the sin of Sodom homosexuality? And they don't hide it now. They actually saying, pray Orlando. Pray for Orlando. As if the Most High is really going to be like, oh yeah, I hear your prayers. I'm about to heal all these people. We about to stop all this hate shit which y'all talking about and let the homosexuals be equal and they gonna be, they, you know, they good, they good, they good in my book. Most I ain't doing that shit. Go ahead. Woe unto their soul. Woe means destruction, go ahead. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. They rewarded evil to they self, man. Go ahead. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with them that they shall eat the fruit of their doing. To the righteous, the brothers out there, and the, you know, women out there that's keeping the word, keeping the laws and the faith, it's gonna be well with you. But if you're not, that's what's gonna happen to you. Are you out there home being homosexual? The most high gonna send up people that's gonna go out there and do the same thing like they did at Club Post. You ain't got no protection on you when you're doing those things, man. Go ahead. Whoa, unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. Right. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. That's what happened at Club Post. Go ahead. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Children are your oppressors, and women rule over you. Now, the main reason why most of these dudes out here is not going to speak against homosexuality, or faggots, or whatever you want to call them, it's because most of these women are gonna be like, oh, you can't say that. No, you can't say that. People just like everybody else. You know, you're not gonna get a woman. Well, you will, but they scared that they won't get one. So they gonna go along with the flow and all this bullshit like that. Go ahead. Oh, my people, they which lead me cause me to earth. This, these elites cause you to earth, man. And the main thing is with this homosexuality thing. That's the subject right now. Go ahead. And destroy the way of thy path. Go ahead. The Lord standing up to plead and standing to judge the people. Most High's judging right now. All these, oh, so, you know, it's so crazy. They got terrorists and the people dying and they shooting up clubs. The Most High's judging. That's why. That's why, man. He ain't going to no Israelite camp shooting that shit up. You know why? Because the most I got a hedge around Israelites. Go ahead. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof. The most is going into judgment against all you so-called elders out there that's pushing this homosexual shit. Go ahead. 
for ye have eaten up the vine yard, and the spoil of the poor is in your house. You eat, yeah, that goes into them churches, man. We, we, I don't want to get into that. That's something else. All right, all right, okay. Page 63, read the first. Force me, read that. Because what you got to understand is the people that lead you cause you to hurt because they are pushing this homosexuality shit. All right? That's why it's so popular to be homosexual now. Whether you're male or female. That's why the biggest, one of the biggest political groups in America is the homosexual group. Why you think they put those, they, they plotted to get them? So they could push these gun laws, man. Ain't nobody stupid. Go ahead. Force me, read that. Back to one. As in every social system approach. Read it clear and loud. As in every social system approach. Right. Stability is achieved only by understanding and accounting for human nature. Action, reaction. So in a social system, in a government, or in a nation, the only way to, to achieve stability is understanding human behavior, such as action and reaction. Meaning if I send a shooter in there, what are the people going to do? They're going to cry for gun laws. If I go to the biggest social political group out there, the homosexual LBGT, and I have some person go shoot it up, what are those people going to do? What are the Ameri American people going to do? They're going to cry for gun laws. We got to stop this. It's crazy. You got to stop the hate. Push gun laws. You got to understand that. Go ahead. Action. Reaction. Right. Patterns. A failure to do so can be, and usually is, disastrous. Right. As in other human social schemes, one form or another of intimidation or incentive is essential to the success of the draft. Now this is Behold the Pale White Horse on, on page 63. Now speaking about a draft, but this works for everything, everything within this system. You have to have a system of incentive or intimidation. Now we're dealing with homosexuality right now, so we're going to deal with the incentives and the intimidation. How's the intimidation work? You're going to be intimidated because you're going to be ostracized and as outcast if you speak against the status quo, which is homosexuality and homosexual rights and all this bullshit like this. Go ahead. Physical principles of action and reaction must be applied to both internal and external subsystems. Right, you got to apply, apply these things. Go ahead. To secure the job, individual brainwashing slash programming and both the family unit and the people must be engaged and brought under control. So you have to program the family. That's why you got a television in your in your in your house. That's why when they when they say the man shot up the club, they play that shit 24 hours a day. Then you seen it on social media, pray for Orlando. We stand with Orlando. And all this bullshit like that. It's all a part of programming, man. From the time we were born in the 80s. I go back to the 70s, all the way to now, it's been programming you to accept homosexuality. Go towards homosexuality. Accept it. Accept it. And it's for a reason. Go ahead. The man of the household must be housebroken. Right. That's why in a black household, the father is usually pushed out. The women get all of these benefits, like uh, welfare, like food stamps, like Section 8. If they push the man out, it cannot be a man within that house take with a job for them to um, get all of those benefits. They got to push him out. Go ahead. But if he is in there, this is what got to happen. Go ahead. The man of the household must be housebroken to ensure that Junior will grow up with the right social training and attitude. The man got to be housebroken so that the kid can grow up with the right social training. Accepting the status quo, whether it be right or wrong. Go ahead. The advertising media, etc. The advertising, the media, and everything else around him has to influence him towards social training. 
They've been training you for years to accept homosexuality. And it's for a reason. Go ahead. The advertising, the media, etc. are engaged to see to it like it's that father to be is pussy whipped before or by the time he is married. That's why you see most men follow after the woman. Whatever what a woman say, that's what they go with. The woman say, no, 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 you got to accept homosexuality, no, it's real, no, don't say nothing bad about homosexuals, and the man say, okay, baby, whatever to do to get that ass. Go ahead. He is taught that he either conforms to the social notch cut out for him, or his sex life will be hobbled and his tender companionship will be zero. Exactly, so they got to bend to the will of the society and the social training that is being placed on them. All right? And most men do. All right? So is that it? He is made to see that woman demand security more than logical principled or honorable behavior. Exactly. So rather than sticking with the scriptures say being honorable, being a man, he won't do that because he wants that woman. And the society does not push for a man to be a man, but for a man to be a woman and a woman to act as though she's the man. Go ahead. By the time his son must go to war, father, with Jelly for a backbone, will slam a gun into Junior's hand before father will risk the censure, the censure of his beard. Or make it. Censure. Censure. By the time his son was going to war, father, with jelly for a backbone, will slam a gun into Junior's hand before father will risk the censure of his peers or make a hypocrite of himself by crossing the investment he has in his own personal opinion or self-esteem. That's it. So that's it. All right, it's, it's a thing called social training. All right, and these elites use the TV, the television set, social media, and these women to do it. All right? This, this I'm going to give you a thing to do. Go talk to a woman. Ask her about homosexuality. And see how strongly she feels about it and how strongly she's going to tell you you're wrong to say that homosexuals should be put to death or that homosexuality should not be. Try to convince her. All right, and see and see how strongly she feels about it. Most women. All right. Go ahead. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Chapter nine, verse three. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt. What are we? They shall return to Egypt. They shall eat unclean things in the series. Alright, hold up. That's not it. That's not it. programming that this man is placed on you you go with it you just go with it and you make him happy 
And he's, his, his, his plan is, he thinks his plan is working. Because you Negroes are going with it. All right? You're making them happy. But the most I don't like that shit, man. Be a fucking man. All right? That shit on that. Is that it? And the princes with their lives. Exactly. Go ahead and read that. I'm sorry, Jose Paul, um, Jose Paul six. Four, one, three, six. Hosea chapter four, verse one. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Right, the inhabitants of this land right here, the most high has a controversy with them, man. Go ahead. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the most high in the land. There ain't no truth, the mercy, or knowledge of the most high in this land, man. Except for the brothers bringing out this truth. All right? You're not going to tell me that it's, that it's knowledge that two men should be together. You're not going to tell me that that's wise. All right? To promote that. Go ahead. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches the blood. Exactly. All the most wicked things you could do happen in this land. Go ahead. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. Right, go ahead. With the beasts of the field and with the flowers of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Because of the wicked actions such as homosexuality shit. The most is gonna make this land language. He's gonna make all type of uh, shit happen over here. Wars, pestilence, um, famines, all of this shit. Go ahead. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another. Right. For thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Right, so we out here, we, it's like we can't tell them that shit wrong. If we tell them wrong, they're gonna argue back. Try to tell us that it's right. Homosexuality is in the Bible. And yeah, God loves homosexuals. When he told you the shit was an abomination in the Old Testament, and it tells you in Romans that the shit is uh, worthy of death. That's what Paul said. We're gonna go on the Paul pit and tell your congregation that it's cool. It's all right, let's pray for the people down there in Orlando at the club, at our club post. Go ahead. Right, so the Most High gonna make them fall in that day. Some of them already fell. But that's why this Most High is judging this land. That's why he gonna destroy this land, man. Go ahead. And I will destroy thy mother. Go ahead. Verse six, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Who people destroyed for the lack of knowledge? The Most High people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. People on this sign, they're destroyed because they don't know anything, man. They don't have knowledge of the Most High. They don't have knowledge of the things that's happening in this world. All they got knowledge of is the NBA Finals. Or oh, damn woman. Go ahead. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the most I rejected most of these people on this sign. Because they rejected him. They rejected his knowledge. Go ahead. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. You forgot the most high law. He said that a homosexual should be put to death. That's an abomination. And that these things are wicked and evil. But you don't forgot that today. Because the so-called white man in the school told you that it's okay. Because that woman that you were right before you was about to go and smash, she was like, look, look, you know, you can't say nothing about the homosexual. He's like, all right, baby, I'm not gonna say nothing. Go ahead, all right. I will also forget thy children. Right? And we still got you. We still got you covered. As they were in grief, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. Right? They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. That's it. Go ahead. Page 66. Now, it says my people die for a lack of knowledge, right? Our people do not know or does not consider. Why are they pushing this homosexual thing so hard? 
Why did they go down into the home and say, now you notice, these so-called terrorists never go to the black clubs. They never go to the hoods and shoot that shit up. They always go to the, the white areas, and now we're always gonna go to the homosexual club. Why are they doing that? Why you never go to the hood and shoot that shit up? Why you never go where the drug dealers is and shoot that shit up? Why you never, they could have went right down there to, what's the black club called? Over there, uh, they ain't go to beach them and shoot that shit up. You know why? Because it's a gender behind the shit. It's a gender why they're pushing this homosexuality. Go ahead and read it out. Behold a pale white horse, page 166. The first study was made during World War II to determine the impact of the returning soldiers upon the economy. So they had the baby boomer era. What world was that? World War II? After World War II, they had the baby boomer era. All the soldiers came back and they had a bunch of sex and they had a, that arrow they call those, those babies the baby boomers, all right? And at that time, they said from all these kids being born, the earth is gonna be overpopulated by the year 2000. We gotta do something about it. We gotta do something fast. Because we got technologies now, the mortality, the, uh, I forgot what, the, what it's called, the birth rate is going up, infant mortality is going down. You know, to keep people are living longer, people are healthy. We gotta do something because the world is gonna be overpopulated. So they went and they had this study, all right? And this is the conclusion of that study that the elites had put out. Go ahead. The first study was made during World War II to determine the impact of the returning soldiers upon the economy. Right. The results mobilized the ruling elite. A second secret study was conducted in 1957 by scientists meeting in Huntsville. Notice the date, 1957. And you're going to see these things going to start to happen in order. Go ahead. Huntsville, Alabama. They confirmed the results of the first. Right. The conclusion was that civilization, as we know it, will collapse shortly after the year 2000, unless the population is seriously shortly after the year 2000. Go ahead. Unless the population was seriously curtailed. Right. The study expressed the concern that since atomic weapons existed, they would ultimately be used. Total worldwide disarmament reserves. Congress adopted the disarmament plan and created the U.S. Disarmament Agency. President Dwight David Eisenhower had his to say in 1957. As a result of Lord infant mortality, longer lives, and the accelerated conquest of famine, there is underway a population explosion so incredibly great that a little more than another generation, the population of the world is expected to double. A third study was made by the Club of Rome ending in 1968 to determine the limits. 1968. Go ahead. To determine the limits to broke. The results was the same. The Club of Rome was commissioned, commissioned to develop a computer model of the world so as to predict the outcome of corrections made to social and economic structures by the elect. The Club of Rome was also asked to develop a computer Model of a new world order. Both tasks were accomplished. Studies were done to determine a method to arrest the population explosion before, before the point of no return was reached. To arrest it or stop it, stop the population growth. Go ahead. It was determined that an immediate attack on the problem would involve two points of intervention. Go ahead. The first was to lower the birth rate, and the second was to increase the death rate. So the goal, the point was to lower the birth rate 
and to increase the death rate at this time. That's why you have so many diseases and shit. And cancer killing every fucking body. And diseases with no damn cure. All right? There's cures for everything. But they made these things so that they can lower the um, population. Go ahead. To lower the birth rate, several programs were put into motion. Right. The first was the development of positive birth control methods. Of what? Positive birth control methods. So the first thing they did was create birth control methods. And that's why you had a lot of civil wars and shit down in South America because America, because they were trying to force the people on birth controls and contraceptives. Go ahead. Using mechanical diaphragm and condom. And condoms. Go ahead. Chemical foam and birth control pills. Birth control pills and foam. Go ahead. Spermicide. And medical. Sterilization, abortion, and hyster hysterectomy. That's why a lot of black women, they give them hysterectomy just so you cannot have children anymore to lower your numbers. Go ahead. That's why it's a shame for when a, a black woman mainly to have a lot of kids. Oh, girl, you got seven kids? What's wrong with her? She must be a hoe. Like, that's why they make, that's why you got these cultural shames. For a woman that has a lot of kids, even if it's by the same man. That's where these things come from. These are devices to lower your population, man. Or to make you feel like you shouldn't repopulate yourself. Go ahead. Procedures. Uh, procedures. These were developed and implemented the women's liberation movement. The what? The women's liberation movement. They had to destroy the civil rights movement. They had to destroy the Black Panthers movement. So what did they do? They came with the women's liberation movement. Now you take the women out the home, you put her in the work environment, you tell her not to have kids. Cause you're gonna fuck your career up or your body. Or you don't wanna be a slave to a man. So don't have no kids. You see the shit they do? The name of the game is depopulation. Keep your numbers in check. That's the name of the game. That's what this homosexual shit is about. Go ahead. The women's liberation movement was started with the demand for free abortions. For what? For free abortions. To kill your goddamn children. To kill your children. Go ahead. Using poor choice as its rallying cry. Homosexuality was encouraged and gay liberation was born. We dead again, homosexuality is what? Homosexuality was encouraged and gay liberation was born. Homosexuality was encouraged and gay, gay liberation was born. That was what, 1968 I think you said, right? 1968 was when these things started to happen. That's when these things started to happen. All right, that's when that study came out and they start to implement these things. And then you have, boom, women's liberation, you have condoms, you have women's liberation, and after that you have home, um, gay, um, um, homosexual liberation, however they say the shit. 1968. Now in 1973 is when they took it out of, psych out of the psychological books, all right, as a mental disorder. They took homosexuality out as a mental or sexual disorder in 1973. You see, 1968 is when they published these studies. When they found these studies. Okay? Where you at? Homosexuals do not have children. They don't have children, right? Right. Zero population growth became the hot subject at cocktail parties. Right, go ahead. Individual freedom, the heat, of the zero population growth became a reality in some areas. So it's not a thing about love or hate. What it is is to depopulate. Yeah. All right. When we were in Egypt, what did the Pharaoh do? He killed all the firstborn men. He was trying to depopulate Israel. He's doing the same shit today. Except now they're using this homosexuality shit. 
And you think we gonna sit here and accept that shit? Or the most I gonna say that's cool? Go ahead. Population increased rapidly in others. Uh, the only alternative, alternative left in the world's food to eat was to increase the death rate. This was a difficult thing to do as no one wanted to pick people out of the crowd. Right, let's see. Go to 168. Uh, next page. <laughs> so, page 168. So, Julian Huxley said, overpopulation is, in my opinion, the most serious threat to the whole future of our species. The project called MK Naomi was carried out at Fort Detcher, Maryland. Since large populations were to be decimated, the ruling elite decided to target the undesirable elements of society. Read that again to target. Target what? Since large populations were to be decimated, the ruling elite decided to target the undesirable elements of society. Right, go ahead. Specifically targeted for the black, Hispanic, and homosexual populations. Now, homosexuality is a weapon used against so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanic as a way to depopulate them and to demasculate them and to take the men out of the picture. All right? Tatum just nothing but women. All right? It's a weapon. So is that it? The poor homosexuals were encouraged on the one hand and scheduled for extinction on the other. Exactly, and it goes into age after that and how it was created and all that shit. But that's it on that. Good art. Daniel chapter 8, verse 24. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Right, who is he? He is talking about Esau. He said he shall destroy wonderfully. And that's what this man is doing. He's destroying our people, man. With this homosexual shit. Alright. Go ahead. And through his policy also. Through his what? Policy also. Wait. Through his policy. Now they got these policies of encouraging in homosexuality. Alright? They got these policies of um they got this shit now called the hate crime. If you kill a so-called homosexual, which the law says you're supposed to put them to death, all right? But if they're being put to death and you just say, oh, you homosexual, you gay, or faggot, or whatever, now this this automatically makes it a hate crime. Now you're getting, now you're getting life, all right? Even if you hurt them or some shit, now you're getting more time. It makes it more serious now. Go ahead. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. All right. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. By what? Peace shall destroy many. Now to them, it's saying it's peace. It's love, brother, it's love. I, I love this person. It, it's peace. You can't, you can't go against love. It's peace. But by that same shit is he destroying your nation. By that same fucking homosexual act, is he destroying people, man? I'm gonna tell you something, that shit is like a virus, man. Notice how many so-called, or how many homosexual it is now. It wasn't like that when we were growing up. Notice how prevalent it is on the damn TV. And your kids gotta see it. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hands. With the most high gonna judge that shit, Cindy, I always try to break his ass. Alright, go ahead and go to Daniel 7 and 25. Give me Leviticus 18 and 22. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. Alright. He shall speak great words against the most high. He should do what? 
speak great words to the Most High. Yeah, you know what, man? The Most High, you know, he forgives homosexuals, man. You know, hey, you know, homosexuals can make it to heaven too. You know, uh, we should pay for homosexuals, man. And that's the thing that happened to them, man. That's terrible, man. That's terrible, man. Yeah, we got to stop this hate. Nah, man. The Most High not with none of that shit. That's speaking against the Most High. Blasphemy. Go ahead. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Right, go ahead. And think to change times and laws. Change times and what? Laws. The law says that a homosexual should be put to death, man. That's what the law says. Now this man don't want to change that. They tell him you, if you did put one to death, and you did it because he was a homosexual, or you caught him in a homosexual act, then guess what? Your ass gonna be put to death. Or if you're not put to death, you're gonna get double or whatever they was gonna give you in the first place. The man changed the laws. All right? Um, hold that. Give me uh some. Hold on. Psalms 94 and 10. Psalms chapter 94, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Right, iniquity. Son, the throne of wickedness, man. Which is America, man. Well, in the East, well, I'm going to go further. The Edomites, man. Go ahead. Do they have what? Do they have what? Fellowship with thee. Should you fellowship with these people? After I just explained to you what this homosexuality shit was about, and we went through the scriptures, should you be should you be yoked together with these people? Should you sit at the table with these people and indulge in their uh, philosophies and their ways of thinking? Go ahead. But you frame mischief by a law. Frame is mischief by a law. This man gonna tell you that it's a hate crime to go into uh, put a homosexual to death when it clearly says in the scriptures. Furthermore, this man gonna tell you that you cannot say nothing against homosexual when the scripture condemns that shit. All right? Go ahead. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous. Because if you say anything, anything against some homosexuals, you know what's gonna happen? Everybody gonna gather against you to try to condemn your ass. As if you the wicked one. As if you did some type of wickedness. could be very well taken down and our channel deleted because it is because of what we're talking about what we're teaching right now because this is the right and correct thing the most I said to keep judgment he told Abraham that he said to do justice and keep judgment give me all Genesis chapter 18 real quick Ole. command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord. They shall keep the way to what? Keep the way of the Lord. What is the way of the Lord? Go ahead. To do justice and judgment. Do justice and judgment. You are supposed to judge. Why? Because the Most High says to keep his ways, to do justice, the right thing, and to do judgment. Are you still running? To judge between right and wrong. The scriptures say homosexuality is wrong. Go ahead. That Yahweh may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. That's it on that. Go, uh, Hosea 12 and 6. Hosea chapter 12 verse 6. Yep. Therefore turn thou to thy power. Keep mercy What's and up? judgment and wait on thy yeah. power continually. Again. Again. Hosea 
chapter 12, verse 6. Therefore, turn down to thy power, keep mercy and judgment, and wait on thy power continually. Read it again, I'm sorry. Hosea chapter 12, verse 6. Therefore, turn down to thy power. Turn to your power, your God. Go ahead. And keep mercy and judgment. Keep mercy and judgment. What are the judgments? The judgments are the laws. Very good. You want dead? Yeah, bro. When you go to the court, you go to the court before the judge. What is the judge's job? The judge's job is to uphold the laws and to judge between right and wrong, between parties. So if you're supposed to do judgment, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to judge between the law and between people that they keep in the law. That's it on that, huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lie with the women, both of them have committed an abomination. Right, an abomination. Go ahead. They shall surely be put to death. They're supposed to be put to death. That's what the law says. But America teaches otherwise. That's why it's called the land of Sodom. And they're doing it for a reason, for population control. Go ahead. Their blood shall be upon them. Right. Now, go ahead. Give me a... Uh, Give me Sirach 17, 24. Somebody give me Exodus 23 and 2. When you get it, just read it. Sirach 17, 24. 26. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 23. All that I speak, then I will be. And I will be an enemy of the dying people. And an adversary of the dying adversary. She say, falling out a multitude to do wickedness. Not it? Yeah. Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to be evil. Right. Neither really shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Right. You're not supposed to decline after many to wrestle with judgment, man. You're not supposed to follow a multitude just because everybody else say homosexuality is cool. Don't say nothing against the homosexuals. You know, God is love. No, you're not supposed to follow after that shit, man. To rest judgment. To rest with the most high word and say, try to make it to where it's okay to be homosexual. And homosexual acts is okay because the Bible, no. You cannot rest or wrestle or twist the most high word, man. Go ahead, all right, give me some right. Right? Right, 17. Verse 24. But it's to them that repent, he granted them return. Right, and to when you repent, the most I'll let you return to return to the foe. Go ahead. And comforted those that fell in patience. Right, go ahead. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Right, go ahead. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Offend less, I meaning you're not gonna be perfect. But you're going you're gonna to try to the best of your ability not to be sinning and offending the Most High. Go ahead. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. Go ahead. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell. Go ahead. And hate thou abomination vehemently. Hate what? And hate thou abomination vehemently. The Most High says hate abomination vehemently. So you're supposed to hate homo uh, the, the act of homosexuality. Them too, man. Because the most I hate them, man. In the act. Homosexuals and homosexuality. That ain't what? That verse? Uh, Alright, that's it. Sirach 15 and 13. Go ahead. Sirach chapter 15, Sirach verse 13. The Lord hated all abominations. The Lord what? Hated all abominations. Most I hate homosexuality. You're not gonna tell me to pray for homosexuals. Pray for club posts. Go ahead. And they that fear the Most High love it not. We don't love it either. So we got to speak against it. Is that in on that verse? Skip down to verse 20. Verse 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedness. Neither hath he given any man license to sin. So you're not going to say the Most High has, yo, some homosexuals are special. You got to pray for them. You know, you got to let them in the church. 
God let them in your congregation because they people like everybody else and the most high love them just like he loved everybody. The most high does not love them or that shit. He's not giving them license to do that. License means permission. He's not giving anyone permission to go out and sleep with a man, sleep with a man. Most I never gave that permission. America gave it, but not the most high. Because even All right, go ahead. Where are you? Go ahead and read the right 12 and 6. So what? 12 verse 6. If the most high hated sinners, and we He ain't what? The most high hated sinners. Because you got a lot of people who say, oh, the most high don't hate the actual person. He hates the sin. No, the most high hates the sinner as well as the sin. All right, so the most high hate them homosexuals up there. That was up there in Club Post. So he sent that little motherfucker up there to shoot that shit up. He let him go in. Furthermore, that was the action. That was, I ain't even gonna go into it. Go ahead, y'all. And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Do what? And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. They're ungodly, so the most I pay vengeance to them. These are the days of vengeance. Go ahead. And keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. They, their punishment coming. When the Most High destroyed this place, America, and destroyed all the kingdoms of this earth, and it's coming, when He sent His Son back to deliver us, they day gonna come. They gonna burn up like everybody else. All right, give me a second. I just chapter 15. Let's sit on that. We are gonna end it on this note right here. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse like three or something, something like that. Second Andrew, chapter 15, verse 3. Yep. Fear not the imaginations against them. Let not the incredulity of them trouble you. We're not seeking against them. We're not scared because people don't like what we're saying. Or what this homosexual was mad because we said that shit was wicked. They don't give a fuck. Go ahead. About the unbelief. They don't believe this. Go ahead. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. They're just going to die in their unfaithfulness. Go ahead. Behold, saith the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world. Go ahead. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. The Most High bringing all that to this place because this is a wicked land along with all the kingdoms in the earth that rule right now. So the Most High going to destroy you. Go ahead. So the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. The wickedness have polluted the whole earth. Go ahead. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Wickedness have polluted the whole earth. Now, they pushed this homosexuality and it started in America, but now it's going to the whole earth. It's polluted the whole earth. Go ahead. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Right. Which they profanely commit. Right. Neither will I suffer them in those things. Now, how is the Most High going to hold his tongue? Give me the book of Hosea again. All right, because the Most High speaks through the prophet. So when he says he's going to hold his tongue no more, it means he's going to send these prophets out here to go ahead and teach his word to, so you can go ahead and hear what he got to say. Hosea chapter 12 verse uh, 12 verse uh, 10. I'm going to read that real quick. Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied visions and used more uh, I, I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied visions and used similar